All right, well, it's officially April, officially April 4th today. We got about three feet, feet it wasn't feet, but probably about a foot of snow last night. It's making me really sad because I am really wanting to get out on my bike because I can't ride. I'm doing a little video to talk about the gear and the bike that I will be riding for this season, 2023. I'm super stoked, excited to show you what I got, why I got it, go over the whole thing. Yeah, here we go. Start off, got a few things in front of me. I just got this POC Cortal helmet, Cortal. Um, really excited for this one. I hear great things about it. A lot of my friends ride with this. I got these 510 um, Hellcats on Jensen USA for $35. They were on sale. And when I see a good sale, I just have to do it. For the main event, we're going to be talking about the bike that I'm choosing to ride this year. So without further ado, let's uh, show you what I got. I got an e-bike. <laughs> this is the Trek Fuel X E 9.8 XT. I mean, I've always wanted one. I didn't always know if I wanted one for like my daily rider, but after Trek came out with this, I saw it and I think it is just, it's so clean. What drew me to it is that it is pretty lightweight for and e-bikes. I have a review on the Trek Rail that that bike weighs like 55 pounds and you can tell. It's really, really hard to get into the back of a truck. This I can put into the back of our truck just like a normal bike. I can put into the back of our truck just like a normal bike. I can put into the back of our truck just like a normal bike. Are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, We're watching. Ready, go. set, go. <laughs> Push it. <laughs> oh. Yep. <laughs> All right, as far as the build goes on this thing, it is the Trek Fuel X 9.8 XT coming in right at $8,700. This has the full Shimano XT drivetrain on it as well as kind of all the carbon goodies that come with these. Um, we have the Race Shop Limited Bontrager carbon bars, um, carbon frame and the Bontrager carbon wheels. The bars are kind of cool. It's this integrated look. Um, so there's not really like a separate stem and bar connected. It's all kind of one. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. As far as suspension, we have the RockShox Lyric Select Plus up front with 150 millimeters and then the RockShox Rock Shock Super Deluxe Plus at 140 millimeters in the back. The motor. I'm not going to pretend to know that I know everything about e-bike motors because I don't. I've done research on things. I don't know like exactly what motors are in certain bikes and not. I will compare this probably to the Trek rail that I have done a review video on just because that's kind of what I'm most used to and that has like a Bosch motor. So it is a little different than this one. Um, but to kind of go over the specs for this specific motor. So this has the TQ HPR 50 motor. This has about 50 Newton meters of power and about a 360 watt hour range. So what that means is it is a, not putting out as much torque as some of the other bikes on the market, um, but that equates to less heavy bike. This is the lightest motor on the market right now, coming in just over four pounds. So to keep kind of that weight low, it, it doesn't quite have the torque and get up as some of the other e-bikes that I've ridden, but I kind of see that as a pro. It's not like a quick jolt, like it's a very easy, like ride in um, as you're going. I've only felt that on like roads around here because I haven't been on a trail with it yet. But from what I can tell, I really do like that. It has a 360 watt hour length in the battery. I cannot say anything to that right now. I haven't tested it. I don't know how long for a person like me it would be to kind of run that battery out. I'm, I will be testing it obviously as soon as the snow melts, I'll be getting out there 
Um, just to compare a lot of the bigger motors on the market, you're looking at probably twice that, like 625, 650 watt hour. This bike does come with an extended battery, which you can set right here in the bottle cage and it connects to the power source right here. Um, and that is an extender. They say that it gives you somewhere in the 100s watt hour. It basically says it'll boost you like 44%. So I don't see myself going that crazy with this and doing like a ton of miles, but I will report back later when I do more of a ride and review with this as far as the motor and, and how I feel like it's performing battery wise and things like that. All right, oh my gosh. Here is what it is going to look like when you turn it on. It's a very, very nice, I love this integrated portion of the bike like this is flush on the frame it looks really sleek i really like that so here you have your um kind of how hard how fast you want to go with the motor so you can click up if you want so we'll go all the way up you can see it has the three lines and then if i click down so good better best <laughs> not really just not a lot of power a little more power a little more power this is just kind of like your trip um number of hours it's been ridden around the block zero and then my battery i haven't charged it yet from the store i'm kind of waiting for that to to go down all the way but this is what your screen will look like on the front here and then a very sleek kind of integrated uh, for your thumb. This also comes with a Trek app called Trek Central that you can connect to the bike. So we're gonna go into Trek Central here and I'll turn the bike on. And in here, it'll basically just connect to Bluetooth. Um, so I'll reconnect the bike here. It shows it's connected. This is really cool because you're able to see the battery life that it has left um, range estimates are really nice so like if i'm on the high um, end it looks like i'll have 14 miles left if i'm using the highest power or about 25 if i'm using eco um, the other things i can connect a heart rate device it looks like it says recommended pressure so um, if i wanted to come in and see this recommended pressure for my psi are options to get like the shock whiz and things like that set up to this so that you know exactly where you're at um, on your bike, which is pretty cool. Um, odometer looks like I've gone about eight miles, so 15 minutes. Okay, so if you hit this let's ride, you can basically record a ride if you start one and it will show you where you're going. Um, they have a whole history thing on here about like recorded rides and things like that. Haven't tried it, I use Strava, so I don't know if I'll really be getting into that too much. Tune your motor, this is pretty neat. So there's default settings, obviously, that come in the bike. So right now my eco mode is set, this is just default. Um, this is my max power I'm gonna get with it. My assist um, percentage, pedal response is gradual. Um, you can tweak these as you want, as you wish. Um, the high is obviously going to give you the max power, but if, say, I wanted more of a quick response, I could totally edit that and move it up to being a little bit more quick. Um, for now, I'll probably just keep everything at, at default until I can actually ride it on a trail and see where I want to be with things. And then navigation, it does give you an option for kind of seeing where you're at. So there we are, Salt Lake City. I use trail forks. I don't know how well this does with trails and things like that. And then just kind of everything over here, you got your pressure calculator. So it shows your rider weight and kind of rear suspension where it should be rebound wise, um, spring, front and rear tire. So this is all really good info to have. Um, somewhere to keep it at least, which is great. And then, like I said, motor tuning, that's kind of what we saw before. I think the biggest thing is the tune your motor and probably the range estimates. So why I bought this bike? There's a lot of reasons. First, the where I'm at in my life right now, this kind of fits well. 
um, for me. I've done a lot of racing in the past, not a lot. It's been less and less as I've kind of become a mom. I don't really want to get hurt. Did a couple of races last year it was fun. It's not something that I'm like dying to do though. So I knew that racing wasn't totally in my future. So I figured, you know, might as well pick up an e-bike. The other main reason is I have a two-year-old and this is like prime, prime year for him to sit on front. Um, we use a Mac ride and this is gonna be like the year that he comes with me and like does all my rides. This is gonna be the perfect bike to get us up the mountain to like give me a little bit more power as I go up. Our oldest boy who's four now, the year he was like between one and a half and two, I think we biked every week with him um, and it was just such a fun, thing yeah and then the other thing that i really liked is just the look of it honestly i i think it's such a sweet e-bike i've always wanted an e-bike and just the weight and the look of this kind of just pushed me over the edge okay i wanted to do a quick weight comparison between the fuel exe and my husband has a trek remedy 9.8 very similar build i guess as far as carbon frame, carbon wheels, carbon bars, um, it's similar to this, just obviously without the motor and the wheel size is a little different, but it's all very scientific, not really. It's just kind of like, I'm curious what, what their weight differences are. So let's weigh this Fuel EXE. All right, so that is coming in right at 41. 0.72 pounds compared to other e-bikes on the market that's phenomenal um, a lot of these are coming in at like 55 pounds so really stoked on this let's do a quick comparison for the remedy got the remedy 9.8 with the little kids bars on there so not totally accurate, but we'll try. All right, 31.89. So the Fuel XC is just about 10 pounds more than this Remedy. And I'd say worth it because it has a motor in it. <clears throat> I am stoked to be able to ride the Fuel XC on trails. It is still snowing as I'm filming this video. So I'll see you in July. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm writing this year. Comment below if you have any questions, thoughts. Just want to say hey. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Up, up, and over. <laughs> Bang. And it's in. <laughs>